Dan, you started this uh, 15 years ago at Snow Snoqualmie Pass. I did. Uh, probably because I, um, I, I had worked up there for years uh, with the ski area, and uh, I knew that uh, 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 the traffic up there and the type of food I had uh, uh, would complement each other. I mean, I, uh, the type of food, I, I had to have people who, who had traveled uh, that would, uh, 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 and the flavors wouldn't, wouldn't scare them away. And that's because my food was made that way. Because again, I, I've traveled. I was born in Korea and I grew up in Germany and, and I just traveled extensively, so. Well, wait a minute, you could have, you could have opened a hot dog and burger joint, coffee and donuts. Why did you pick, what would you call this cuisine? This is... Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a fusion of some sort, but uh, yeah, probably a lot, a lot from my... Uh, uh, a, a, a lot of flavors from, uh, from my mom's side, from the Korean side of mine. Uh, some wonderful, wonderful tasting uh, uh, food there. And, uh, and then going to Germany, I was introduced to curry and uh, some other exotic flavors because in Berlin they had so uh, some melting pot there of Turks and Middle Eastern and African and I and I would uh, pick up uh, I would eat at little little cubby holes and kiosks there and it uh, it, it yeah it just so long story short you didn't want to do hot dogs and hamburgers oh I mean all uh, uh, I do if I and, and I do make a great burger very simple my hot dog is very good. It's very simple. I mean, they, they are they are there. They're they're good food. But I but I want to go in a different direction and come up with a, a a slow fast food. I call it, and that's where my curry and my uh, and my tacos and so uh, so forth came up. Speaking of tacos, to get started back 15 years ago, they were tremendously popular. I understand. And why was that? It uh, it was because of the sauce. Uh, you know, it was a. Uh, this isn't a sauce that you could buy off the shelf. No, it sauce. isn't. Yeah, it was like I was an alchemist back then and putting together, uh, putting together a lot of different, uh, um, uh, different spices and oils and so forth, trying to come up with that one that people would go, wow. And uh, I, I failed miserably the first couple of times, but uh, when I decided to simplify it, uh, and keep it under uh, five ingredients. Uh, I came up with I came up with my sauce and um, the aardvark sauce, and that's that's. I think that was the impetus that kept me going because people kept coming back and saying that's a unique sauce, and they wanted the recipe, or if I'd be willing to divulge it. And I always said no. <laughs> and so it went from tacos to hurry curry is a, is a big seller. You yes, the hurry curry is is really the the. The one item that put me on the map. Uh, for some reason, uh, once people started hearing about my hurry curry, uh, uh, that it, uh, yeah, yeah, it took off. It took off. Well, without giving it away, this special recipe. What do you think? What's in it that has made it so popular? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, coconut milk. Oh, coconut said. milk, and probably a lot of love. <laughs> No, the coconut milk and and uh, and again uh, keeping 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 a recipe simple is probably the most important thing. Uh, when I first made the, my uh, made a curry, it turned out miserably. I, uh, people didn't want to come near it. Did you, did you use some other recipe? No, I uh, I just went by taste and and how I uh, how I uh, how I thought it should taste. And, and it wasn't, it, uh, even in my mind, I'm going, this isn't right. And I tried to, uh, uh, tried to market that, and it was, it was terrible. I mean, people were right. It was terrible. Though. Well, when you're in your lab experimenting, what are you doing? Buying $5 billion worth of different sauces and ingredients <laughs> and just sit there uh, all night? Yeah. Or, well, how does that work? Uh, I, uh, you know, I, I would sit in my trailer after I close up. And, I would go, and what I would do is I would just think of the curry and go, how do I like the taste? What do I want? And what am I looking for? And what I, I think that what I like is what the normal person would like, would enjoy the taste. Uh, instead of making it so spicy or so, uh, so hot, spicy hot, that, uh, that it would hide everything. 
I decided to uh, simplify and let people taste everything. And if they wanted to make it spicier, they could add they could add a hot sauce. So I took a lot of those ingredients out and just simplified it and kept it about around five ingredients. So is it hot or is it? No, it's a it, it's a very mellow coconut flavor. And uh, that's the coconut milk. It, yes, a lot of coconut milk in it. That's good for you, I understand. Uh, that, well, I think all my food's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you also have, um, you have a, a bug to travel. You were telling me you went to, recently, to France. Yes, yeah, so I was in Lyon for about two and a half weeks and love that, love Lyon. They have excellent little cubby holes there to eat. Uh, they have such an influx of people from, uh, from uh, from the uh, northern tip of Africa, from uh, Morocco and so forth, that oh, their foods are, are just outstanding. The different spices and uh, a lot of Greeks have come up there, and they've uh, they've taken that, uh, taken brought their brought their recipes up and and then fused it in with some of the French uh, uh, standard French recipes, and it's amazing the flavors that they have there. And that's what I that's what I enjoyed. That and it was very very good on my pocketbook. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Well, oh, it, it wasn't expensive at all, and, and uh, it, yeah, for a few euros, it really, uh, yeah, it went a long ways, and I, and I love being satisfied by a few euros instead of. And uh, where else have you traveled to? We went to uh, Dublin, and I love Dublin. I, uh, I really want to return there. Uh, I want to fly fish a little bit when next time I go to Dublin. Someone said I could uh, t hop on a bus and and uh, from the airport and. Hit a wonderful little fly fishing stream and then get back, get back on the bus and hit, hit the hit the plane again when I when it's time to go. So what are they all about over there? Meat and potatoes? They they are they are more meat and potatoes and uh, uh, you know and even that uh, we we all grew up with that. I grew up with that, but it's gotten to be too heavy for me. I I I, I, I like some things that are a little bit different. Uh, yeah, my, yeah, my my taste goes a little bit different. And you um, have another trip here uh, planned to take a hike. I am. I've decided that I'm going to hike the uh, El Camino Santiago, and I'll leave. Uh, be leaving next uh, the next mid September 2024, and I'll start out in um, southwestern France, and I will take a six-week uh, hike all the way across Spain into uh, uh, Santiago that the, uh, uh, the journey's end. This isn't for a food trip. This is for something else. Well, right? it, it's always, there's always going to be wonderful food, I hope, on, on that journey. But no, I'm, I'd like to kick back and, and uh, have an idea for a book. And that's what I'm looking at. And hopefully it'll help me, it'll help me focus. Uh, you know, and food will be a main part of it, but it's, uh, it's not going to be anything soul searching. I already know who I am. I'm pretty happy with that, but I, I do want to do want to write a book uh, on food and how uh, uh, and just how it uh, how it affects me and how it affects everyone and uh, more of a fiction. But we'll see what happens. How old are you? I'm 68. Okay, in the 68 years, if you had to come up with one of the most important things to know about life, what would it be? <laughs> uh, Every day is important in life. Uh, you know, uh, even the bad days are important because it makes you who you are. So I always say, look back, but don't look back. Always look at yourself today, and that's what you are, and learn to love it. Because you even the little things. You even say. the little things. Yep, it all. It's a. Uh, there are all these uh, little things in this big recipe that makes you you, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're all a recipe in progress. We are a big recipe in progress. Ha, ha, ha.